Hello everybody, this is Grant from the OpenShift team. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the tools that we use on the OpenShift servers to make sure that your application is up and responding to requests. The tool that we're going to look at is called Watchman. And what this tool does is it continually examines your application to make sure that no errors have occurred at the system level. If it detects one of these, such as an out-of-memory condition, it'll actually restart your application server. This all happens automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. For the scenario in this de demo, I'm going to show you a Dungeons & Dragons character generator. And it is just a simple REST service that returns a Dungeons & Dragons character. And I'm going to keep hitting it here. And, and this is randomly generated characters. And this is running on a small gear on OpenShift Online. So as you can see, it's quite responsive. So now let's trigger a out-of-memory condition and see what actually happens. So I wrote a little JSP scriptlet called eat.jsp, which basically just triggers an out of memory by consuming all of the available system memory. So I'm just going to reload this page and it's going to uh, write something out and consume all the memory and I'm going to keep refreshing this page and we can see that it's still working until that out of memory condition actually occurs and Watchman picks it up. So all of the memory has been consumed, and Watchman should be uh, restarting the server at this time. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal, and let's look at the actual log files of our application. So I'm just going to do a RHC tell, or RHC app tell, and pass in Watchman as the name. And we can see that uh, JBoss is starting back up. So it caught that it was out of memory, and it went ahead and restarted the application server for us. All right, looks like our application server is back up and running. So let's go ahead and, and verify that we're able to create characters again. So I'll just reload this page, and sure enough, JBoss is back up and running. So let's make the demo just a little bit more interesting. I am running on a single gear, and a gear is an application container inside of OpenShift. So what I'm going to do is scale up to about three or four gears, and once uh, I'm able to scale up that based on the number of HTTP traffic, I'm going to uh, consume all the memory on one gear and show that with our world-class clustering and load balancing on JBoss that my session will actually go over to another server while the JBoss application server is being restarted on the gear that I have triggered the out-of-memory exception. Okay, great. Now my application has been scaled up based on the number of HTTP requests coming in. You can see that I'm looking at the HA proxy status page and we show two gears that are running JBoss EAP and then the local gear which contains our HA proxy. If we go back over to our character generator which just returns JSON, it's going to uh, recompile and sure enough it's uh, still spitting out characters, um, load balance across those two gears and it's still pretty responsive. So let's go ahead and kill the server again with the eat.jsp file. I'll load that. And we can come over here, keep refreshing the gold pieces, still working, refresh HA proxy. And we'll see Watchman pick it up in just a second. And let's go over to the terminal and look at our log files again. Still very responsive. And we can see that Watchman has now restarted the server on this second gear. That's why it's red. It's no longer handling requests. But because of our session clustering on JBoss and our load balancing, even though that gear is being restarted and kind of out of rotation at this point, the application is continuing to operate normally by balancing that traffic and session replication over to that other gear. And we can keep refreshing HA proxy, and we can see in that amount of time, the Watchman plugin that OpenShift runs on the servers detected that out of memory condition on one specific gear and um, restarted 
JBoss EAP on that gear. It's been up for six seconds at this point. And during that time, all session information was transferred over to the other gear and the application continued to run without any problems. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about how Watchman works on OpenShift to ensure that your applications are up and running.